Hey Taurus, welcome. This is going to be a timeless love reading. Whenever you feel drawn to the title and to the picture, that's when you know it's meant for you. It's actually being taped in March of 2023, so if you're watching this as soon as it posts, um, leave the green emojis in the comment section for the free 25 to 35 minute readings. For those of you that are new, I do monthly giveaways. So this month will be two 25 to 35 minute readings, the longest I've ever offered for free. Um, so be a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe, and I'm grateful you're here. Leave the um, green emoji, it could be a four leaf clover, three leaf clover, any plant within your phone, or you know even a green emoji of some sort, maybe a heart. Just leave it in the comment section. At the end of the month, I'm going to randomly choose two people to receive those readings and reach out to you um, initially through YouTube. But I'll remind you next week to look at your notifications. And I do this each and every month. I try to switch it up, but each and every month there will be a giveaway. All right, guys. Always take what resonates. And then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. All right, let's see what's coming towards you. I got this white mat holds so much like lint. All right, wallflower. You know, feeling like you're just there, like you're being ignored. You could have been ghosted. You could have been gaslighted. A mature woman. For those of you that are dating somebody older than you. Masculine or feminine energy. It, you know, it's almost hard for me to... The, t these two women look very similar. So it could be somebody, you know, they dealt with you as you were younger. Maybe they go see you or gaslight at you. And now that you're a little bit older, they're coming back around into your energy. Let's see. Patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Card of 24. It's coming towards my Tauruses in terms of love, spirit. Toil and labor. It could be somebody within your place of employment. But I feel like it's the fruit of your labor paying off. Bottom of the deck is the wealthy man. Card of 13. Somebody that's very businesslike may work at a bank or with, you know, money. You may have done business with them, and that's how you meet this person. We have 13, which is 4, 24, 6, and then 11. Anything else, Spirit? The Taurus. And Community. With community here, this person may live in the same area as you. You may have the same group of friends. Like I said, it may through, be through business and like through co-workers. All right. What type of relationship spirit for Taurus? What is coming towards my Tauruses? I'm going to do timing and um, Scrabble tiles. Missed love and crazy sexy love. See, I just feel somebody like becoming older, a rekindling of a connection. Where you may have thought you never meant something to someone. I feel like they're coming. You know, after a time of, and it could be years, a rekindling of this connection. But we'll see what pops up. All right. Past energy, ten of coins. You may have lived with this person or have been engaged. But I do feel that you were in a connection with this person. And it could have been like a connection where you've dated for like two, two, three, four years. I do feel it was abundant. It was, you know, you had this vision that it was going to last. 
that they were going to be your end all person. Present energy, the Ten of Cups. Guys, this might be an already existing relationship. You may have met them when you were much younger and have grown with them. We've got the Ten of Coins and the Ten of Cups and the future Nine of Coins. That's my single card. And it very well could be, you know, that in the past you felt like you were with your end-all be-all person. And because of, you know, we'll definitely pull clarity, but whatever did happen, I, I feel like you're in a connection where you feel emotionally content, where you're good where you're at. You may think about this person of the past, but you have a current person. And you feel like it's abundant. You feel happy with it, emotionally content. But I feel like somebody's missing you and sees you thriving. Let's clarify. Please clarify the Ten of Coins, Spirit. Please clarify the Ten of Coins. Yeah, for some of you, I definitely feel like this was through business. We've got the, the King of Coins and the Wealthy Man. Somebody that was an entrepreneur. Um... They may have been very high up in terms of their company or their business. You may have worked with them and that's why there was this energy of needing to put this on hold. They could have made work. Their, um, and this may very well be your energy, Taurus, because you are earth energy. Cross watchers, you know, switch the energy as it applies. You could have been very hard at work and a relationship wasn't your first priority. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. The Two of Cups coming into union. I do feel like this is an energy that existed in the past that now is rekindling in the present. And why the Nine of Coins for the future? The King of Swords. So we have air energy here. You may have air in your chart. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, or you could be dealing with a fellow earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have water here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you're thriving. And you're ready for long term. Yeah, wow. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck of the moon. I feel like you don't see this love offer coming in, Taurus. Passionate, loving offer. This is an amazing reading. And for some of you, you may need to make a choice. We've got the King of Coins and the King of Wands. For those of you in the same, like this resonate with the same sex in terms of love, you know, that could definitely be a sign for you guys, girls. But we've got the King of Coins and the King of Wands. If you've dealt with a fire sign, and maybe it was through work or business. But I feel two people that are very work driven in their power um, have two solid foundations for themselves. A lot of security are coming in with their hearts open. I got to tell you, Taurus, I feel like you got to make a decision between two people. We have three kings here. And I'm going to take one as your energy being the king of coins. I really feel like there's going to be, you need to make a decision.
Yeah, somebody's holding out. And that's where the breakthrough happens. For some of you, it's that one of the one of the situations is definitely work related. So I just see you are, you know, cross watchers, take it how it resonates. I see somebody already in a connection, you know, works very hard, spends a lot of time at work, late nights at work, um, a lot of work, like work parties, work trips. Um, I feel like you come in contact with someone. And now that I see this, I feel it's like somebody you've already are dealing with and then somebody that you meet within work. And needing to make a choice. You've got the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So you're going to move towards that love that brings you passion, that brings that, that makes you feel sexy. Um where you might spend a lot more time in bed than you do, you know, you know, getting errands done. But I just feel a big decision here. Somebody's coming, coming towards you and needing and wanting to put the fight in for you. So we have air energy here, water energy, fire energy. And earth. And it may be two people that have existing relationships and then come together and realize there's a spark between you and them. Because I feel multiple energy here. And the decision needs to be made. It's almost like there's missing, there's someone missing you, Taurus. And it may be because your energy is elsewhere. Where you might be enduring this, this sexy, crazy love connection that you have. Someone's missing you over here. And I just got the message... The grass is only greener where you where you nurture it. Wow, this went a different way. I didn't expect this. All right, let's see. Definitely did not expect this reading to go this way. There is unconditional love here. So one of these offers, one of these people in your energy is definitely sincere. Making contact, putting your emotions out there, then putting their emotions out, you know, towards you. And the tower standing alone. Never fear a time that you stand alone. It's meant to happen. It's meant for your growth. It's meant for lessons to be learned. Never underestimate a time of being alone. I've spent a good amount, you know, at least three years single between a connection that led me to my fiance, but so much growth within me that I'm telling you if my fiance ever did something wrong, or came at me in a certain way, he'd be out on his ear. And that wouldn't have happened in the prior relationships that I was in because I felt like I was definitely not in my best energy with them. I spent so much growth within that time that I spent alone. Now, like, now I definitely know my worth. That's what I mean. Like, my fiance would be out on his ear if he did something wrong. There would be no speaking to me. You're out. I don't need anyone. I can take care of myself. Me and my dogs. And now is not the time. Middle of the season. So if this is completely resonating and you want to make a decision, 
I feel like Spirit's telling you, maybe weigh your options and wait to the middle of the spring. And make sure you're, you're making a decision based on you being grounded, Taurus. Definitely a past life connection with one of these options. All right. Messages from Taurus's prospects to Taurus. And that hurting you, hurting us, was never my intention, is dying to come out. It's too painful me it's too painful for me to see you right now. I'm I'm definitely feeling two relationships already existing, opposite ends, and then two people coming together in the middle and people on the end or whatever just you've helped me feel things I never knew I could. All right, one final message for Taurus. All right. Or maybe not. A few. Let me get it. All of these flew out, as I said, one last message. All right. Things got too intense for me, and I ran away. I know there is somewhere better for you, someone better for you. No need to worry. And I couldn't give you the love you truly deserve. All right, you're going to have to let me know how it resonates because I did not expect the, this reading to go this way. All right, we have N, G, L, I, R, Y, P, a these this message is definitely meant for a few of you because even I have multiple I's and multiple A's, no E's, multiple P's, L's, like there's this is definitely meant for a select few. D there's an E. I literally have like 15 eyes in my hand. W. All right. All right, the rest are repeats. Let me know how this resonates. Leave those green emojis for those of you that want uh, a chance to win the 25 to 35 minute free reading at the end of the month. And also click on the link to my Etsy shop. It will take you right over to my Etsy shop, to my personal shop, where I offer a variety of personal readings. To bring you your own clarity. But there's definitely multiple options here, Taurus. And I feel like needing to decide between two. Alright, I am sending you so much love and light and have an amazing weekend ahead.